This is an extract from the Leader podcast by The Evening Standard, hosted by me, David Marsland. To hear the whole thing, search for us on your podcast provider. Here we are. Back to the movies. Well, we know Tom Cruise has seen it. He posted a video of himself popping out to catch this year's must-see movie Tenet in London last night. And maybe that's an indication of how important this film is to the movie industry. Tom Cruise has nothing to do with Christopher Nolan's picture. He's not so much promoting the movie, he wants people to go to cinemas. It's yet another industry trying to pick up the pieces after coronavirus, and the BFI has been helping to do that. I'm now joined by their head of UK audiences, Ben Luxford. Ben, how much is hinging on Tenet being a blockbuster? Yeah, they probably it's probably more important than it should be. And that importance is kind of, um, you know, to be fair to Warner Brothers, the distributors behind the film, like actually the bravery, you know, that they're, they're showing to kind of go first and do that. You know, this industry needs, needs those partners like them to do that. Um, but beyond that as well, like audiences need that, as, um, you know, need, need something, a, a big, big spectacle to bring them back in. So yeah, it's, um, it's important for the industry. I think it's gained importance. But it's certainly not make or break at this point. You know, it's, it's, it's going to be a long, a long road to recovery. Do people feel safe going into cinemas? Should people feel safe going into cinemas? Yes and yes. Um, so we've done extensive surveying over the last few, few months, both us and industry partners like the Film Distributors Association. And, you know, the one thing that hasn't changed, because people's like, actual appetite for certain films and... Um, you know, all kinds of like sentiments and moods change constantly, you know, with the wind. But the one thing that has remained throughout for understandable reasons is that people absolutely have to feel safe, you know, and know that they're going to be looked after and be safe. That's, you know, right at the top priority of all cinemas at the moment, um, you know, quite rightly is both audiences and staff. Are they safe? How are they safe? And how are you communicating that they're going to be safe as well? Um, so yeah, audiences want to know before they go there, you know, the precautions that are taking place. And equally, they want to know that there's going to be staff actually policing the cinemas um, to make sure that everything's being adhered to. Are the audiences coming back, Ben? Are you seeing people in cinemas, in the BFI cinemas and the, the cinemas that you're helping to support? Yeah, well, BFI opens September 1st, so I hope people will come back. Um, bookings are good. People are coming. Um, but yeah, I mean, since cinemas have been allowed to reopen, um, which happened... I mean, quite a long time ago now, in early July. Uh, obviously, not many did at that point. A, f- a few started to. But over the last few weeks, I mean, really, we've had about four weeks now of something resembling a market um, and box office. And week on week, I mean, exponentially, it's growing. So I think we've got about 500 cinemas open in the UK now, and we've got about 800 in total. So more cinemas are reopening, more films are being released, box office is growing um, which means that you know audiences are growing, so everything's going in the right direction. And some of these cinemas that we're trying to save are beautiful in their own right, aren't they? You work with a lot of the independent cinemas, um, and some of them, the, the, there's an, there's nothing quite like that experience of going into a really lovely cinema and watching a movie with an audience. Is that it's worth rescuing? Yeah, totally, totally. I mean, it, it, it is. It's, um, I mean, I'm, I'm such a loser. I still make like a little noise when I go into a little squeal of excitement when I go into a new screen that I haven't been before. And I think I'm still amazed, like managers find me a bit, um, uh, like a bit bemused by people like me when I turn up in a cinema, I'm like, oh, can I just have a look at screen four, please? Or can I have a look at screen two? You know, because like, I want to see it. I want to want to poke my head around the door and see see what it looks like. But yeah, you know, those squeals of excitement continue when the lights go down and the projector starts running, you know, long into the future, because it really is, you know, uh, it's so special and it's so different. And I think, you know, again, you know, during this whole period, you know, literally we've all been, you know, uh, been dark and we're all, pretty fed up and I think we've all only felt the absence of cinema more so in that you know and realizing just what a what a special moment that is to watch films in that way and you kind of need the movie industry to support it too and it looks like they're keen for people to go back we've had Tenet out now we have 
a new James Bond movie coming, I think, November. Tom Cruise, clearly a Tenet fan. He's got Top Gun 2, I think, coming out in December as well. So there's a big, long list of big movies that have been held back that are all suddenly going to come out again, isn't there? There's a reason to be excited. Yeah, it's kind of like, uh, it, it's starting to feel like things are going in the right direction, but just to feel that appetite. And it's all tied to seeing it in cinemas. You know, that's the important, that, that's, that's what I'm really taking a lot, of, um, uh, a lot of excitement from and love for all of this, is that it's all about, I can't wait to watch this in, in cinemas, you know? Distributors like Warner Brothers and like Altitude, um, Altitude Film Distribution have been doing a great job over the last few weeks of showing that confidence by releasing things like um, the Russell Crowe Unhinged movie, like the most perfect popcorn multiplex film you could imagine, you know, to really get people to test the water and start to come back. Um, it's going to take all of these things, you know, to actually get us back on track but seeing now you know films like like you say like Top Gun Maverick they're not you know these are these these are films that are going to change the industry films like Rocks alongside Lashley's Oscar nominated Les Miserables which is out next Friday as well you know so like good things are coming like immediately <laughs> 